property market. But to other matters, let's now talk about our afternoon business chat. And I'm now joined in studio by a man who wants to introduce retail credit cards to the Kenyan mass market. Very tough name. Brent Van Aswagen. Chamba, fun name. <laughs> right, Brent. Thank you for having me. What exactly is the business of, of AFB? What, what business are you involved in? Because you are not a bank. Absolutely, right. Romney. We are very proud to say that we're not a bank. Mm -hmm. AFB is a consumer finance business. Right. We are, have our headquartered in Mauritius. We right. have operations in Ghana and now in Kenya. Mm -hmm. We offer consumers a range of financial services products uh, from credit cards mm -hmm. to loans to insurance products that meet the consumer's needs at any point in time. All right, you're coming into a market where the middle class is fairly thin and we're having a bulk of the population who cannot quite afford this or they may not have disposable income. How do you intend to promote the culture of using plastic money amongst this part of the population? Um, the key issue here is that consumers in the target markets mm -hmm. that we're looking at do not have access to credit. Right. And for them, affordability is a, is a key problem that they face every day. Correct. What our product allows co uh, consumers to do is to access a form of unsecured credit, mm -hmm. which will enable them to go and buy the things that they need at that point in time. Right. A really good example we have is uh, of a customer um, who went to one of the stores in, our, in our, one of our Eastland merchants. Correct. And needed to buy a microwave and she didn't have the cash with her she was able to apply for a retail credit card in the store and was able to purchase her microwave within 30 minutes of her putting the application in so what we're really trying to do here is give these consumers access to credit mm -hmm. where they otherwise would not have had brett what is the relationship between your card and what you're offering to the local banks okay <clears throat> very big difference here is that when we say we're, n we're not a bank, there, there are a couple of things that, that come into this. One is um, we look at um, accessing a broader market than right. the banks. Currently, the banks in Kenya have a, a very small penetration, um, and it's very difficult to get a product. Um, what we do is, is I've said, we, we target um, a much broader population. And what we've seen in the last six months of our pilot operation mm -hmm. in Kenya mm -hmm. is that 98% of people who are applying for our card do not have any form of bank credit. Right. So we are hitting the, the area of the, of the market that is the average working Kenyan who would like to access some form of credit. Mm -hmm. The other big differentiator that we, we offer is that we are, giving, we are able to allow people to apply for credit in a very short space of time. Our process is really simple and really fast. Essentially, a customer goes into one of our retail partners. Right. They fill in an application form, which is sent through to our processing center. We then come back with an answer to the customer uh, within 30 minutes, and the card is instantly given to the customer in the store. So typical banking products require the customer to go into the bank, right. apply for a, a financial product, and then wait anywhere between two weeks and two months for them to get access to that product. How do you check for credit worthiness? I mean, I could, I could go to a store, get this info, get <coughs> this card purchased, and then I disappear. Um, we follow some very sophisticated processes in our, in our call center. We have some very good uh, validation and verification processes that we so follow. So there's credit info transfer between a lenders. Absolutely right. right. Um, so we are uh, actively looking at how we participate with uh, sharing of uh, consumer payment behavior right. with the other credit providers through the credit bureaus, uh, particularly CRB and Metrofile. Mm -hmm. um, what uh, we're then able to do over time as we build up the payment behavior, we're able to understand what are the kind of consumers who pay us well and those consumers who don't pay us well. Right. And we'll be able to develop our own um, assessment criteria as we go forward in time. Right. Now, Brett, just coming into this market a couple of months back, we had a situation where there's a lot of insecurity and fraud, especially in related to plastic money transactions. How do you ensure that fast the Kenyan consumer who's just coming from that background mm. will trust this product and then how do you also ensure that there are all those people smart guys out there who are just waiting for you to launch this and they hack it i i, I totally agree with you ford is, is a is a problem that's faced worldwide right. uh, the kenyan is is kenya is, is not unique in this case at all um our experience to date of known Fords is mm -hmm. that to just to contextualize it we've currently seen approximately or less than 0.01 percent mm -hmm of applications being fraudulent. Right. So we do see the problem as being a lot smaller than what people, or what we initially thought it would be. However, we are actively working on a biometric solution um, as part of our 
uh, transaction authentication process right. mm -hmm. um, that will integrate into our card device. And this is really a first, um, not only for, for Kenya, but certainly for Africa, right. uh, where we are pioneering uh, use of a, a relatively new uh, technology Correct. to help us jump over things like chip and pin. Mm -hmm. It will become far more secure right. um, form of transacting. Right. Kenyans are also used to mobile money, which is the biggest craze in Africa right now. How do you ensure you will cause a splash in, in this kind of market? Mobile, mobile money is a, is a fantastic innovation and really born in Kenya as well. Um, mobile money is a, is a means of paying, um, um, a payment method really. Right. What we're offering um, and the, the key behind our product is that we're giving consumers a form of unsecured credit. Correct. What I mean by that, when we talk about unsecured, um, there are lots of um, uh, offers of credit within the markets, but a lot of these offers require some form of security mm -hmm. to be placed down. So right. we, we even see it where we, where we see messages around a postpaid mobile contract, for instance. Mm -hmm. With that, you need to put a deposit down right. on that contract before you'll get that uh, postpaid status. So many forms of credit that are available in the market do require some form of credit. What we're offering people is unsecured credit, so there's no deposits. We, we, we are offering this to everyday Kenyans who currently are not getting access to these, these um, kind of products. Right, Brent, my next question has kind of two faces and probably would be my last question, is that one, um, I'm the Kenyan consumer, who exactly are you targeting? And two, you've operated in markets in Lusaka, Accra, and Cape Town. How does the Kenyan consumer habit compare with that? Okay, two questions. First question, our, our, our target market is is all Kenyans. We, we are looking at, at all Kenyans. So right. we are looking at people who are self-employed. Mm -hmm. We are looking at people who are banked, unbanked. We are, have such a great cross-section. Already we are seeing a fantastic cross-section of consumers applying for credit. Right. There's a good dis, uh, differentiation between male and female. Um, we've seen that uh, currently of our, of our applications, 54% of mm -hmm. these Kenyans earn less than 40,000 shillings a month. Um, so we, we are, scoping the entire marketplace. Right. Um, so really, it is a mass market it, product. It's a mass market product. We don't like to use that word, but <laughs> certainly we are, we, are, we are offering a credit product for all Kenyans. What we've learned in, since we've been operating for the last six, seven months now about the, the Kenyan population is that the consumers are extremely cautious towards credit, which really is a good thing. Right. We, you know, we, we promote ourselves as being a responsible lender and we don't want to just go and throw out credit into the marketplace and we spend a lot of time and effort making sure that consumers can afford the credit that they, right. that they take. Right. So what we're seeing is that consumers are not just rushing in and taking credit and spending and then not paying. Mm -hmm. um, so we've had some very good experiences there. And the other thing that we've seen is that Kenyans are very discerning buyers. Right. Uh, they, they are very careful with where they shop and they've been guiding us as to which merchants they want us to sign up. Mm -hmm. Right, many thanks and congratulations. Thank you very Good much. Good luck. I will be calling you later on to just give an, uh, a status update of what exactly Fantastic. it is and uh, how many Kenyans have gotten away with your money. <laughs> many <laughs> thanks. thanks. Brett Van Aswigan, uh, Managing Director at AFB. They are introducing a retail credit card to the Kenyan market. Let's see how that goes. That's just about it from uh, the KTN Business Afternoon Chat. We'll take a short break. Coming up is the World in Pictures.